so was I ever in over my head? Slightly. <laughs> um, yeah, there was one night I didn't think I was going to survive, and frankly, I didn't care at that point. I was going into hypothermia. So uh, that night, well, I shouldn't tell you. I don't want to spoil things. Yes, Carolyn does this. I, no, no spoilers. So yes, there were a lot of times. Actually, there weren't that many times that we felt like we were in over our head, but there were a few. Yeah. So how did you get through it? I mean, what did you? You just kept pushing yourself through it. Okay, so it wasn't. It wasn't necessarily a, like a physical endurance thing, like. You know, if you're running a marathon, you hit the wall. Not necessarily like that. So it was, it was more like we just carried on. The sun will come up tomorrow. Um, so yeah, and I mean, with riding, with the endurance of riding, uh, you know, we would stop briefly, wait for one or the other to catch up, and and just see, you know, how things were going. Uh, if someone said, you know what, I'm ready to quit today, then we quit. So it wasn't. It wasn't like an endurance race, if you will. But there were times we were over our heads. Um, well, there's, there were a couple places where, not exactly, but there were a couple places where someone came to help one of us. But um, in fact, I got I, I got a ride from a guy in my I'm trying to remember what happened. Oh, that's when I left my bike. I left my bike. It's in the story, but I had to get a ride from somebody because uh, I couldn't fix the bike. I had to get a ride to a, a town. Of the, it was a guy from California picked me up. In fact, this I remember clearly. He had a, I think it was a Mazda or something, and it was a wagon, and they had a bike rack on it. So when we put my bike rack on the 50 pounds of here and the bike is about 75 pounds. We put it on the back of the bike and the whole, the whole car went like that. But so I, there were other times, you know, when we got help, but yeah, nothing like where we're like SLS. Well, there was one time, but there was one time, but there was no, but there was no way we were going to get help. So. What do things like the night of people who are saying, oh, I'm going to call my parents? I call. I called my folks for uh, money at one point. Yeah. yeah. My my Studebaker money didn't last the whole trip. But and and uh, we met a guy on the road in the second half of the book who um, was from Whittier and he um, keep his eye on the road and he would pick up an average of over three dollars a day in change on the side of the road. Yeah, I mean, who throws money out the window? I don't know. I don't know where this stuff came from, but he he always had change. Anyway, should I read any more? We have any time you want me to read You know, how about, uh, can you find the tornado um, rock building tin roof story? You want me to read it? Or to talk about it? Yeah, whatever. Okay, let me tell I'll tell you about it. Perfect, thank you. Okay, I didn't want to get too far into the story itself, oh, okay. but... Yeah. So we're in Kansas. Kansas has severe weather. Okay, so the you get the Arctic air comes down and it gets funneled along the front range of the Rockies, and it meets the thermal air masses from the southwest, and that spawns and then they meet and they collide and they spawn out into the prairie and it causes this tremendous weather. So we're in this town. I remember what city it was, it was a nest city. Um, and we're having dinner on the sidewalk of, it's not really a town, but on the sidewalk outside the market. And we look to the west and there's this wall of night. It's as if there was this black curtain across the land and it's coming toward us. And we thought, oh boy, we better, we better get out of this. So there was a guy who offered to take me to this little shelter and show me uh, and we did that quickly and came back and I said we got to leave right now and so we barely made it to the shelter the shelter was a rock it was in a park like a county park and it was a rock a stone building three-sided but it had a tin roof okay so stone you know it's pretty sturdy 
bad, but anyway, we barely get there, get our bikes inside, and it just, hell, all hell breaks loose. Well, Rusty and I are like, we have to go out and grok ourselves, in the, you know, grok in fullness, I don't know if you know that term, from Robert Heinlein coined this phrase. It means to kind of like, you know, live it, understand it, feel it. Grokking in fullness is the term from a stranger in a strange land. Anyway, so Rusty and I get our ponchos on, and we go out in the store. And I mean, the grass is flat. There was a tree, this giant oak tree, and one giant branch flies off like Dorothy, you know? And um, we're, we're like this, we're staggered against the wind, literally hard to stand up. But we're into it, you know? Guys are doing crazy stuff. And um, I look at Rusty, and he's like this. And I look up, and the clouds are doing this over our heads in a circle. And you're like, oh my God, we're going to meet the Tin Man. Here we go, you know? So we rush back into the shelter, and Susie is in the back corner, literally, and she's praying, literally. And we just barely make it. Uh, all hell breaks loose. It turns to night. There's lightning. I spent a whole roll of film just shooting lightning. You know, you leave the shutter open until it does lightning, and then you close it. Anyway, after a, after a while, I mean, it was really fierce, you know, noise like fireworks, unbelievable. After all this, it starts to get light out, and we realize, oh, it's still daytime. The sun gets below the storm and the clouds, and then, you know, we had this Jesus sky. That's in the, that's in the, uh, the video that Evan made a video trailer for the book. That's the Jesus sky in the, in the trailer. Um, we learned that there were five tornadoes in our area that night. And, oh, and by the way, after that, the storm came back. Yeah. Yeah. So we had more of the same. And that time, it, I mean, it, 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 the weather changed and it blew right into the back of the shelter. So we were like up against the back, still getting wet. Anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, lots of there's adventures like this all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else? Do you want me to read any more? Or we, we good? Oh yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, it's yeah, it's regenerating. I'm happy to sign copies for you if you like. You have one more question, yes? Uh, if as long as we're socially distant. Don't get hit. That's right. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, right. Okay. That too. Hey, well, thanks a lot. Thanks for being here. All right.